fire from heaven. You know what? What of God says in Hebrews 12, 28 to 29, Since we are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable, let us be thankful and please God by worshiping Him with holy fear and awe. For our God is a devouring fire. Come on, let's just pray to the Lord. Lord, we thank you, God. Lord, for you are good and you are faithful. Increase our excitement to encounter you, God. Increase our excitement to meet you, Lord. Lord, we worship you. We honor you, God. Consume us with your fire. Set our hearts on fire for you. Set our hearts on fire for your will, God. And Lord, because you are unshakable, we will not be shaken. For you are immovable, we will not be moved. For you are victorious, we are also victorious, God. So we worship you in spirit and in truth, God. Lord, let there be like a celebration in our hearts for your goodness and for your faithfulness, Lord God. So Lord, we release our heart to you. We release our passion to you, God. Lord, we release our all to you, God. For you deserve everything. For you deserve the best praise that we can give. For you deserve all glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone say, Amen and Amen. I was excited to praise the Lord. Yeah. Give Him a shout of praise. Woo! Hey. We praise you, Lord. Come on, let's clap our hands. Oh. Here we go. I want to scream it out. From every mountain top, your goodness knows no bounds. Your goodness never stops. Your mercy follows me. Your kindness fills my life. Your love amazes me. Come on, show me. Hey, and I sing because you are good and I dance because. Shout it out! You are good. 
thank you, Lord. Come on, can we give God a clap of praise? Lord, you are great. Oh. Yeah. Psalms 34, 1 to 3 says, Lord, I'm bursting with joy over what you've done for me, God. My lips are full of perpetual praise. I'm boasting of you and all of your works. So let all who are discouraged take heart. Join me, everyone. Let's praise the Lord together. Let's make him famous. Let's make his name glorious. Hallelujah. Splendor of the King, glowed in majesty. Let all the earth rejoice, and all the earth rejoice. He wraps, he wraps himself in light, in darkness. Tries to hide and trembles at his voice and trembles at his voice. Come on, sing out! And I'll pray his honor, God. Sing with me, I'll pray his honor, God. And no one see how great.
for joining us in our Sunday online worship celebration. Now, for those who are watching on YouTube, Facebook, listening on Spotify and podcast, in behalf of our pastors, Pastor Lathur Badoy and Pastor Alea Hope Badoy, we welcome you. Thank you so much for joining us today. And just open your heart, be excited. God has a message for you today. Now, for a few announcements, first is that we encourage everyone to continue to join us in our Sunday online worship celebration. Now, wherever you are, in your homes, in your boarding houses, let us host the presence of God. Now, let's just invite our family, our friends, our colleagues, our classmates. Now, let's just invite them, share the videos to them. Let's just watch together the online worship celebration. For sure, God will really do mighty things and God will really touch our hearts. Amen. Praise God. And also, we encourage everyone to be a social media evangelist. Now, this is very real in a world na grabi po ang mga negative news for this coronavirus, no, this COVID-19 crisis, other call it pandemic. No, na kay mga mga negative news madunggan that is it is very very important that we share the good news to people. So we encourage everyone, let's just continue to share our online no videos, no our worship celebration. Let us share it to people because the reality is people need the Lord. We really need the Lord. So we encourage everyone. The Word of God tells us in 2 Timothy chapter 2, 4, verse 2, preach the Word in season and in it out of season. So let's just share the Word of God. Let's just share all the online videos we have you know, in our church. Now also, you know, we encourage everyone not continually you know, to join us in our Lighthouse Online King's Kids Church. Now let us share the videos. No, Power po ito. Maganda talaga ito. Videos will be posted on the Lighthouse main Facebook page every Sunday morning. Now, parents and guardians are encouraged to watch it every Sunday with their children ages 2 to 11 years old. So, we encourage everyone, watch the Lighthouse King's Kids no Church. Power ito, maganda ito. And also, we encourage everyone to watch the online Young Teens Church. That is every Sunday and the videos will be posted on the Lighthouse main Facebook page. Now, ages 11 to 15 years old with your guardians or your parents no, accompanying you during your watching time. Praise God. And also, no, uh, lastly, we are in our first fruit season no, in this month of January. And we encourage everyone, we really believe in the principle of the Bible that we honor God with the first of everything in our lives. And that is the principle of the Bible. We honor God with the first in everything, in all areas in our life, in our strength, in our time, in our finances. And this month of January, no, in our church, no, sa Lighthouse po, we are in a 21 days prayer and fasting. And we encourage everyone to join us. No? Join us as we seek the Lord, as we pray, and as we seek the guidance of the Lord this year, 2021. Now, on how many days, no, the Lord will lead you. Ask the Lord, pila ka days mag-fast. You can do a social media fast. You can do a partial fast. You can do a sound on fast. But the most important thing is that all together, we seek God first, we pray, and we spend time in the Lord. And also, lastly, no, we encourage everyone, we will also honor the Lord in our finances. And we give to God our first fruit offering. Now, this is not compulsory, but we encourage everyone, it is a principle in the Bible. Now, the Word of God tells us in Proverbs 3, verse, uh, verse 9, it says here, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruit of all your crops. Now, determine in your heart, Lord, this year, I want to honor you with the first in everything in my lives, including my finances. Now, with regards to the amount, seek the Lord. No, in any amount that you want to give, either... You no, know, if na nakai goal na amount that you want to honor the Lord, then you can give it in increments or in a whole. You no, know, we can begin to give you no know, the amount starting this January to March. And God deserves our best. God deserves the first in everything in our lives. Now today, you no know, church, I would really encourage you, open your heart. We have a powerful message, we have a powerful word, and surely God will move in our lives as we open our heart today. Thank you. God bless everyone. We encourage the faithful giving of tithes and offerings. Giving channels are as follows. You may do a bank deposit in the following branches with the account name The Lighthouse Christian Fellowship. 
Union Bank Rizal Branch Account number 1001-7003-9801 China Bank Recto Branch Account number 17225-28018 Metro Bank Rizal Branch Account number 0583058628150 PNB Victoria Plaza Branch Account number 401-7100-1879 Kindly provide a copy of your deposit slip to the Lighthouse Office for verification. You may also give through GCash transfer using these numbers 0998-158-2269 or 0918-2131530. May God bless you richly as you faithfully give your tithes and offerings. The Lord bless you today as you join us in this worship celebration. The Word of God says in Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And right now, I want us to pray. And let's come before the Lord and claim that psalm, a great promise from the Lord for our lives as we follow Him. Let's all pray. Our Father in heaven, you are our shepherd the shepherd of our soul. And today we pray, bless us your sheep, O God. Make us people who follow you. Make us good sheep. You are the good shepherd. Make us good sheep, good followers. But right now we claim those words that when we have you and when we follow you, we will lack nothing. God, we pray for protection and we pray for provision for everyone. Lord, bawat pamilya, pagpalain mo, Panginoon. Bawat nanonood, nakikinig, pagpalain mo, O Diyos. Protection, Lord God, Lord, ang pag-provide ng mga pangailangan, Lord, ang strength para harapin ang mga challenges, ang Lord, presence mo, O God, to supernaturally cover your people during the times of darkness and danger. And thank you, Lord, we declare, surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. So bless everyone who are watching, Panginoon. Bless them, God, financially, health-wise. Lord, the studies, Lord God. So relationships, say you, Lord. So family, Lord. So ministry. Bless them, God, in the name of Jesus. Cover them from the COVID-19 disease, God. Cover your people. Cover, oh God, their families and their households. And God, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone would say, Amen and Amen. The Lord bless you. Again, be a sheep, a sheep that allows the shepherd to guide you. But as you let God be God in your life, He will surely fulfill all of those words. The Lord bless you. Man in general is curious about Foreigners. So, kung merong foreigners sa palipot natin, normally we, we try to be observant. If you're in a coffee shop with a foreigner, for example, in a restaurant, sometimes we look at them, what, how they dress, what, how they talk, sometimes what they wear. If they're very near us, some of us, to be honest, eavesdrop on uh, what some of them may be saying sometimes. Uh, we have an interest in foreigners because we are kind of uh, intrigued or fascinated uh, with uh, them and how they live and how they're different from us uh, in some ways. Ngayon po sa atin pong talk, meron tayong pag-uusapan about foreigners, but not the natural foreigners, but a different kind of foreigners. Some of you may have heard the words, 
referring to Christians, it's often a criticism saying, they are too heavenly, they are of no earthly good. Sobra naman silang makalangit, wala na silang beneficio dito sa lupa. And we understand that, that you know, it comes out of frustration sometimes, it comes out of strong disappointment sometimes, but I want to say that in 99.9% of cases, that criticism is really not valid. And I just want to say, just briefly, for example, the, the situation of missions and how missionaries who are heavenly minded gave up careers, which are often very promising, like doctors and so on. Uh, they gave up loving family and friends. They gave up comfort and security to go to far-flung places and there they are become instruments for you know literacy and education. Uh, they uh, were able to bring health and medicine. They're able to bring community development, livelihood, and technology. So those people are so heavenly minded. They are not so concerned about their own career, magpayaman, magpasikat. And yet, they are so earthly uh, good or beneficial that they are able to give to people who actually have a lot of need. Often, missionaries go to places that are, are, that are unsanitary compared to where they came from. Uh, you know, uncomfortable compared to their way of life at home where they live. And even unsafe from their point of view. And yet, they do that. They are, in reality and in truth, of a lot of earthly good because they are so heavenly. Today, we'll talk about foreigners. We'll talk about citizenship. And I pray that the Lord will speak to us and the Lord will not only encourage us but change our lives. The title of today's message is Not of this world, living on earth as a citizen of heaven. So let's go to the first point. If you are a true follower of Christ, you do not belong to this world, but you are a citizen of heaven. Ito po ang paulit-ulit na sinasabi ng Bible. Na kung ikaw ay tunay na takasunod ni Jesus, hindi ka citizen lang ng lupa. Totoong citizen ka ng lupa. In my case, I'm a citizen of the Republic of the Philippines. But more than that, and more real and more lasting than that is that I am a citizen of another country, of another kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. Let's read a few uh, Bible passages. John 17, 14 to 16. These are the words of Jesus. And here the Lord Jesus said, They that are my disciples are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. And then it says in verse 16, Jesus said, They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. So kung ikaw ay follower ni Jesus, by repentance and faith, you are not of the world. Ang iyong tunay na bagong identity, bagong citizenship, you are a citizen of heaven. You live on earth, but you are a citizen of heaven. In fact, yun ang sinabi sa Philippians 3 verse 20. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also wait eagerly for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. So, I am so happy that because I have given my life to Jesus, I am now a citizen of heaven. And habang nanonood ka, nakikinig, at alam mo, by repentance and faith, Binigay mo ng buhay mo kay Jesus, you are now also a citizen of heaven. Pwedeng Pilipino ka or American or whatever your nationality may be, but your primary identity is you are a child of God and a citizen of the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. Because you are a citizen of heaven, you enjoy many benefits even while on earth. Dito po sa lupa, ang mga citizens enjoy benefits because they are Filipinos or Americans or whatever. Meron silang benefits. Now, in some cases, those benefits are huge. Malalaki. Plenty. Marami. Sometimes, in some cases, they are very few, if any, and they are also, in a way, very small and very insignificant. Sa mga biyay po natin, uh, Sometimes sa mga airports, 
you could see almost with, uh, you know, with a little bit of jealousy how, for example, citizens of the United States or citizens of Norway, when they travel and they show their passport, parang iba ang treatment sa kanila. No? Parang special treatment. Kasi pag kano ka, minsan iba talaga yung dating mo sa mga local authorities in the various countries. Dahil ang kanilang bansa ay in a way special, ang treatment sa kanila ay special dahil special din ang kanilang privileges. In the spiritual realm of life, ganun din po, tayo po ay citizens of the kingdom of heaven kung tayo ay totoong follower ni Jesus at tayo po ay merong benefits at merong marami at importanteng mga benefits. Marami po ito, wala tayong time pag-usapan lahat, mauubos ang isang araw, so kulang pa. No? Kailangan lang ng konting example. So let's begin with a few. Number one, you have a home in heaven. So, you are a citizen on earth, but you are really a citizen of the kingdom of heaven spiritually. And therefore, dahil tagalangit ka, may bahay ka sa langit. Alright? And that's what the Lord Jesus said. John 14, 1 to 3. Sabi niya in verse 2, In my Father's house are many rooms. Sabi niya, I go to prepare a place for you. Sabi niya sa verse 3, I will come again and take you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. So meron daw iniahanda si Jesus at meron tayong bahay sa langit. Number two, benefit of being a citizen of heaven is that you have treasures in heaven. If you are a, truly a child of God, eh, mayaman ka. Okay? Nasa langit, maraming treasure. You are so richly blessed because you are a child of God. You are an heir of God, tagapagmana ng Diyos. You are a co-heir with Christ, tagapagmana kasama ni Jesus. 1 Peter 1, 3-4 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has caused us to be born again to the living hope. Verse 4, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, unfading, kept in heaven for you. So meron kang treasures or inheritance. Okay, so... Amazing ito. Because you're a child of God by repentance and faith, you have treasures or inheritance in heaven. Number three, you have rewards waiting for you in heaven. So kung dito sa mundo nag-serve ka kay Lord, merong rewards na giintay sa'yo sa langit. Rest, comfort, and material rewards, you know, uh, homes and other things God will give to you honor, praise, God will give to you. So the more you serve God here on earth, the more rewards there will be in heaven. Exciting ito. Matthew 5, 10 to 12. Sabi ni Jesus, especially for those sa kanilang pag-serve sa kanya na persecute sila, blessed are you who are persecuted. Sabi sabi niya, verse 11, blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you. Sabi sa verse 12, rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. And so meron yon nagaantay sa yo as you are faithfully following and serving the Lord and living for God kahit pinsan pinagtatawanan ka ng iba, pinagsasabihan ka ng hindi maganda, pero faithful ka, great or marami ang mga reward mo sa langit. Na yung mga ganti nagahulat sa imo ha dito sa langit. Number 4, you have protection from heaven. Because you are a child of God, merong mga angels ni Lord na nagbabantay sa'yo. Yan ang sabi ng Bible. Okay? Because you are not just a follower of Jesus, you are a son and daughter of God, son or daughter, and you are an ambassador for the Lord, a representative of the Lord, kaya merong nagbabantay sa'yo. As a child of God, there is constantly protection available for you. Kailangan ka mag-pray, kailangan ka mag-obey, pero available yung protection ni Lord para sa iyo, constant yun. 1 Peter 1.5, Who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. So yung power daw ni Lord, binabantayan daw niya ang kanyang mga anak. Kung anak ka ni Lord, 
Praise God. Kahit na nandito ka sa lupa, dahil citizen ka ng langit, merong security napaka-powerful na nagbabantay sa iyo. May example tayo nito sa so 2 Kings chapter 6 verses 14 onwards. Ito naman story ng king of Israel, evil siya. Tapos yung prophet Elisha at saka yung kanyang assistant uh, ay faithful sa pag-serve kay Lord. Tapos ang nangyari, sabi sa verse uh, 14 onwards, nagpadala yung evil uh, 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 king ng kalaban nila ng mga horses and chariots and a great army tapos pinaikutan ng kanilang tinitirhan tapos sa verse 15 kinabahan ng uso yung servant ng prophet Elisha sabi niya alas my master what shall we do sabi sa kanya ni, ng prophet Elisha sa verse 16 do not be afraid for those who are with us are more than those who are with them may nagbabatay sa din mas marami pa 17 then Elijah prayed and said oh lord please open his eyes that he may see so the lord opened the eyes of the young man the servant of the prophet and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha so sa tao may nagtitiwala nakikita niya yon by faith merong mga army si lord of soldiers nagbabantay Yung isa hindi niya nakita, pero when Elijah prayed, nakita niya. I want to let you know, because you're a citizen of heaven, you're a child of God, merong protection si Lord para sa iyo. You are safe and covered by the soldiers of the Lord. Number four, you have provision from heaven for your earthly needs. So, nasa lupa ka, although tagalangit ka, habang nandito ka, may provision si Lord. Na meron kang kailangan gawin, magpray, magtrabaho, maging good steward, pero maasahan mo, merong provision si Lord. Matthew 6:31 onwards, sabi, do not be anxious, wa kayo magwari. Verse 32, yan ang ginagawa ng dinakakilala kay Lord, pero ang Father in heaven alam niya ang kailangan mo. Verse 33, unahin mo, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So as you seek first the kingdom of God, faithful ka, paging citizen of heaven mo, sabi, all the things you need will be given to you as well. Hindi ka kailangan mag-worry, baka kulangin. Hindi ka kailangan, you know, mag, hindi makatulog dahil worried na worried, takot na takot because the Lord will provide for you. Six and the last, you have assurance of heaven's victory over hell's forces working on earth. So yung battle between God and Satan, the kingdom of God and Satan, and all of these things, sigurado panalo si Lord. Huwag kang kabahan, huwag kang matakot. Dito sa lupa, sa mga batas na daanan mo, ultimately, panalo ang cause ni Lord. Revelation 11, 15 to 18, prophetic po ito, meaning it's something that is yet to come in this particular instance, but the Lord already tells us para hindi tayo kabado. Ang sabi mo dito, verse 15, the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of His Christ, and He, that is Christ, will reign forever and ever. Okay? So sabi doon, si Jesus daw will reign forever and ever. The kingdom of this world na take over na ng kingdom of God. So, Habang dito ka sa lupa, may uyog-uyog, may mga shaking, parang nananalo ang evil, kingdom of darkness. But in reality, hindi. Maybe temporarily God will allow that, pero ultimately, yung victory ng kingdom of God ay sigurado. And you're part of that. You have nothing to worry. You have nothing to fear. Panalo ang kingdom of heaven over the kingdom of Satan and even the kingdoms of men on this earth. So napaka-exciting na maging citizen of heaven. And when we talk about being citizens, hindi lang meron tayong privileges and benefits, meron din tayong responsibilities. Always magkadikit po yan. No? Pirmi, paris na sila na tayong mga madawat nga benefisyo, pero naapod tayong mga responsibilidad. Hindi po automatic na kahit wala kang nagagawin, pa, you know, buluyago na kaayo ta, no? tamad-tamad na ta kaayo, Blessed lang giyapon ka ayo. No, that's not the way. So right now, let's talk about you also have responsibilities on earth because you are a citizen of heaven. Sa ibang mga bansa po, and here in Asia we have, for example, Singapore and South Korea, required po for males 
that when they reach a certain age, they serve in the military. Dalawang taon. And in some countries, the hindi yan required. Like in the Philippines, we may find it a bit difficult to understand. But every un understanding Korean and Singaporean would appreciate the principle. And the principle is this. You are a Singaporean or a South Korean. You live a very comfortable, safe, secure life because your motherland is caring for you, in a way, helping provide for you and protecting you. And therefore, dahil blessed ka with protection and all, you are serving because it is your duty to show some loyalty to your motherland. Yun po ang logic nun. And spiritually, we say, since we are citizens of heaven, meron din po tayong responsibility. Hindi lang puro, bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. More pa, Lord. Dagdagan mo pa, Lord. Sige pa, Lord. More blessing pa. Hindi lang parating ganon. Meron ding responsibility and duty. So let's talk about some of these things. Number one, you are called to represent your king well on the earth. So yung king natin refers to the Lord, syempre, and we ask his citizens must represent him well in a foreign land. So remember, kung di yan maliwanag kanina, we are citizens of heaven and the earth to us is a foreign land. Kaya natin sinasabi yung foreigners. Kasi hindi, dito tayo nakatira sa lupa, pero tagalangit tayo. Kaya sabi ng Bible, we are foreigners, aliens and strangers on the earth. So tinan natin yung ating mga duties. One, to represent our king well on the earth. So ang tawag po ni Lord sa atin para i-represent ng mabuti ang ating hari, that's God our Father. You are an, an ambassador for Christ and you are called to live for Him. 2 Corinthians 5.20 Therefore we are ambassadors for Christ and we are His representatives. So ito po ay sinasohin natin. No? Representative po tayo. Sana po i-represent natin ng mabuti ang ating hari, our Lord, our leader. Number two, you are called to live out your culture so others may see it and be drawn to the king you serve. So yung ating kultura, as citizens of heaven, yun po ay dapat na nililive out natin para makita ng iba. We are called to practice those uh, things. Matthew 5.16, sabi ni Jesus, Let your light shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So ano ba yung mga tunay na citizens of heaven? Mga anak ni Lord, we are happy, we are honest, we are truthful, we are forgiving, we are generous. Yun, pinapakita natin dapat yun kasi gusto ni Lord makita ng iba yung kultura ng langit through our lives. Pangatlo, you are called to live properly so as not to bring shame to the king you represent. So, importante po na tama ang buhay natin. Hindi tayo nagbibigay ng hiya sa hari natin. We don't bring a reproach to the king we represent. Sabi sa Romans 13, 11 to 13, sabi doon, uh, jumping to verse 13, let us walk properly. You know? Ang lifestyle natin dapat proper as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sensuality, not in quarreling and jealousy. So, straight, maayos daw dapat ang buhay natin. And then sa Romans chapter 2, may nakalagay po doon na mga tao that they teach, uh, etc., but they don't practice. And then sabi doon sa verse 24, as is, it is written, the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles, the people don't, who don't know God, because of you. Hindi mo gusto, gusto ni Lord na mangyari yon ulit. Okay? Gusto ni Lord na hindi masira ang pangalan niya dahil sa atin. So let's live well, let's live properly, tamang buhay, para ma-represent natin mabuti ang ating hari. Hindi siya masira sa mata ng mga tao. Number four, you are called to spread the culture of your heavenly country to the local or earthly people you are living with. So tayo daw ay tinawag ni Lord na spread natin yung kultura ng langit dito sa lupa sa mga kasama natin. Okay? 
In Acts 28, 30 to 31, it was said there that the Apostle Paul talked about the kingdom of God and the Lord Jesus. That's in verse 31. And then sabi naman sa Acts chapter 1 verse 3, referring to the life of the Lord Jesus, the last part at least, sabi naman, he also spoke about the kingdom of God. So ang message ni Apostle Paul at ni Lord Jesus, kingdom of God, pag ni Lord. And pag ni Lord, ng kaparis na nakansip is pagsunod natin sa Kanya. Okay? So yun daw ang mensahe na ating ituturo. Okay? The kingdom of God is the rule of God over all creation. Tapos sabi ni Jesus sa so John 20 verse 21, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. So gusto po ni Lord na dito sa lupa as representatives of heaven in a foreign land on the earth, tayo po ay nagtuturo at nagsishare sa iba ng kultura ng langit para ito ay matutunan nila at gawin din nila. It's a very simple term or description for what we call evangelism or personal evangelism. Na yung mabuting balita po ay tinuturo natin. Yung katuroan ni Lord, tinuturo natin. Number five, you are called to go out on earth and make other places like heaven where you belong. So not only where you live, share ka, like for me, I live in Davao City and this area of Mindanao. I don't just share the gospel, the culture of heaven, the salvation of God here, but I'm also called to go farther to share the word of God para mas marami pa ang maging langit. Remember Jesus said in Matthew 6, 9 to 10, May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So ang kalooban ni Lord, ang lupa, maging kapareho ng langit. Kaya tayo inuutusan na lumabas. Matthew 28, 18-20, what we call the Great Commission, tells us that God is the King. He has all authority. And He says, go and make disciples of all nations. Gawin yung tagasunod ni Jesus, lahat ng tao, lahat ng bansa. And then verse 20, teaching them to observe or do all that I have commanded you. So ang gusto ni Lord, yung lupa maging langit in the sense that the kingdom of God is uh, experienced here, tayo po ang gagabitin ni Lord para i-share sa kanila itong bagong kultura na ito. So when you talk about these things, napaka-exciting po dito kasi meron tayong magandang mission para kay Lord. Yes, bless tayo. Ako, excited ako kasi may bahay sa langit, may rewards, may treasures, at excited ako dahil Jesus, I will finally meet Him in person uh, soon by the grace of God. But then, dapat sinusohin ko rin, meron din akong responsibilities. I should live properly, no? Di liba pakaulawan si Lord? Maingon nila, kristohanan man na siya, pero grabe mamalikas. Kristohanan man na siya, pero, you know, kanang atikon man kaayo, bakakon man kaayo. Or sabi nila yan, ay, Christian daw siya, sabi niya, pero napakayabang naman o hindi marunong magpatawad, o hindi marunong magbigay, and so on. Hindi po yan ang kalaoban ni Lord. Let us represent our God, our kingdom, well, before a watching world. Yan po ang ating responsibility. God expects us to do that, and God will help us to accomplish that. The Bible says in 1 Peter 2, 11, that we who are followers of Jesus are foreigners and exiles on the earth. And thus, iwas tayo sa mga sinful desires dahil hindi naman tayo tagalupa, tayo ay tagalangit na. And so again, there are implications of being followers of Jesus and citizens of heaven. So let's talk about them. Number one, it is normal that you are not too delighted with the good things of earth. Okay? Hindi natin ta, okay? Since you are a citizen of heaven, okay, at superior yung heavenly realities na although nasa lupa ka, ito ay na, na, na experience mo, you are not super excited. You're happy, but you are not too excited about the things of the world. Let's look at the example of the Apostle Paul. Si Apostle Paul, lumaki, may kaya, respetado, etc. Verse 3, uh, Philippians 3 verse 4 onwards, Though I myself have reason for confidence in the flesh or in the human things of life, uh, sabi niya, I 
have more. Verse 5, circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Kay Apostle Paul, yung mga bagay na yun, although pwedeng ipagyabang yun, at pwedeng yun ang parang maging identity mo, at happiness mo, at success mo, hindi yun ang napaka-excited siya. In fact, to him, compared to Jesus, those things had much less value. And so kung ikaw ay tagalangit, enjoy ka naman sa mga biyahe, sa mga mga bagay, pero not as much as the others, na yun na lang lahat ng source ng happiness nila. That's not a proud statement. That is a statement of facts that we have tasted heavenly realities, peace and joy from God, and they are so good that the things that this world offers are not as good as they are. Therefore, we're, we're excited, but not super mega excited because those things we know are good, but they are inferior, second only to what is in heaven. Pangalawa po, number two, it is not normal, oh sorry, it is normal that you are not too shaken with the bad developments of earth. So kung ikaw ay anak ni Lord, you're from the kingdom of heaven, kung anong nangyayari dito sa lupa, you're a foreigner here, affected ka but not super duper excite, uh, affected because you know na merong God na may hawak sa'yo at yung power ng kingdom niya ay pwedeng mag in dito sa lupa at tulungan ka at even baguhin ang sitwasyon. So normal lang sa at, hindi tayo weird. Kung ang iba worried na masyado, like kayo may coronavirus crisis, tayo hindi tayo ganun ka-worried. Yung iba galit na, nagabagulbol na, kay unsa naman yung gobyerno, unsa naman atong pangwarta, etc. Ikaw, chill ka pa rin. Affected ka pa, not super affected. Happy pa rin, positive pa rin, victorious pa rin sa yung response kasi ikaw ay anak ni Lord. So ngayon, may coronavirus crisis, Kaya mong harapin yon. you're not as shaken. Philippians 1, 12 to 13, and then 19 says, the Apostle Paul sabi niya, ito nangyayari sa akin. Actually, they have served to advance the gospel. Sabi niya, and sabi niya, nalaman na mata about my imprisonment. Verse 13. So, post tayo doon. Actually, ito, Philippians, sinulat ito, while Paul the Apostle was in prison. Nakapreso ko siya dito, and yet sabi niya, chill lang ako. Kaya ko to because the Lord is with me. Sabi niya sa verse 19, I know that through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus, this will turn out for my deliverance. So kung pahingan mo, relax lang siya kahit na may, may mga nangyayari. You know, bless na bless ako ngayon sa coronavirus pandemic. Pero mga iba talagang, they're so close to God. They're so heavenly minded and heavenly hearted, filled with the presence of God, the kingdom of God. Kahit na may mga uyog-uyog, apektado ang income, apektado ang business, kaya nilang tumayo because hindi sila ganun ka-affected at hindi sila abnormal, normal yon if you are a citizen of heaven, if you are a child of God. Amen. Number three, you see promotion and demotion as ultimately coming from the king of heaven and not from earthly rulers or powers. So ito namang, sinong tumaas, sinong nababa, ay hindi masyado nag affect sa atin kasi nakikita natin ito, ultimately, galing kay Lord. So we're not too absorbed with trying to accomplish this or makuha natin yung pabor niya at sana supportahan niya tayo, etc. Ang ating mas gustong gawin at focus ay make God happy. Please God. And we know that when God is pleased, He promotes at iwasan natin certainly yung madisplease si Lord. No? Dapat i-avoid natin yon na the way we live, no? Marami, may mga kasalahan ng tayong you know, ginagawa, may mga kompromiso tayong sekreto, no? may pera ginagalaw din, hindi natin dapat ginagalaw, may mga diskarte tayo na hindi talaga siya honest. Kung tayo rin yung uh, affected party, ayaw natin kasi Tayo ang nanakawan eh. Nagka-pera yung iba pa nanakawan tayo. May mga ganon kung pwede iwasan natin yon. And the Bible says that promotion and demotion ultimately comes from the Lord. Kaya tayo ay chill lang tayo. When God wants to promote us, it will happen. 
When God wants to demote us, kung nagpaboyag yuta, whatever, it will happen. So Daniel chapter 4, beginning with verse 36, Merong kwento ni King Nebuchadnezzar, the emperor of Babylon. Siya ay dinipos, siya ay uh, binaba ni Lord, and eventually, siya ay itinaas ulit ni Lord. And so sa verse 37, sabi na, I Nebuchadnezzar praise and exalt and honor the king of heaven. Tapos doon, sabi doon, for those who walk in pride, he is able to humble. But of course, those who submit to him, he is able to restore. In fact, yun ang nakasabi sa verse 36. So, ito po, we're not too affected. So, focus lang tayo pag-serve kay Lord. Si Lord na ang bahala sa atin. Psalm 30, 75, verse 6 and 7. No one from the east or from the west or from the desert can exalt themselves. It is God who judges. He brings one down and he exalts another. Number four, you see authority for earthly events to take place or not as ultimately belonging to the king of heaven and not to human leaders. So meron ka understanding na as a citizen of heaven, as a foreigner on the earth, ay merong mga nangyayari dito and yet you are not really a victim of them. Ulitin ko, as a foreigner on this earth, because you are a citizen of heaven, a child of God, you realize there are events that are happening and they can be so powerful and yet the word of God says you are not really a victim of those events or circumstances. Alam niyo po, it is so important to understand that ultimately nothing happens to the sons and daughters of God without the Father's permission. Okay? If God does not allow it, it will not happen to you. Okay? Now sometimes God allows it and we don't always understand and we should therefore live by faith and allow God to work out His purposes kahit na at a certain point in time, hindi na din naiintindihan. Pero what the Lord is saying is, He is in control. So let me give you an example. Uh, nung time that Jesus was being in, interrogated or interviewed by Pontius Pilate, the Roman leader, John 19.11, Jesus answered him, that is Pilate, you would have no authority over me at all unless he had been given you from above. Alam mo ba that ultimately yung mga political leaders or even ating mga boss or teachers sa skwelahan, they would have no power over us unless it is given them from heaven, from God. So I want to say, you need to do your part, okay? This is not automatic. Kailangan nagpe-pray ka, you're living for God, you're doing your part. But as you do those things, as you do those things, you are cooperating, partnering with God and yung protection ni Lord nandun sa'yo. Like Jesus, you can literally say to your situation or even to a person above you saying, yung power niyo po ay nandyan dahil binigay ni Lord sa inyo. But it's only because God has granted it. So, wag tayong masyadong apektado, okay? Ano na nangyayari sa ating syudad, sa ating nation, kung hindi yan inalaw ni Lord, hindi yan mangyayari. Now, it's not saying, it's, we're not saying what those things are happening, that they are good, they may be evil, but what we're saying is, hindi tayo biktima na parang kawawa ka naman, napaka-helpless mo. No? Hindi ka-helpless. My sovereign working si Lord, that though He allows evil, ultimately, even those evil things will accomplish the glory of God and the purification of His bride, the church of Jesus Christ. So, huwag tayo masyadong apektado, okay? Al- alam natin na ang nangyayari sa panahon natin is ultimately still under the hand of God. Okay? So ngayon, kahit na merong mga kwanayan about vaccination and other things, realize that God is the one who ultimately in control and though He allows evil because people He has given people free moral choices, He is somehow in control that if you're believing in Him and obeying Him, you will ultimately not be like a victim na kawawa naman, but you can fight and you can stand strong and overcome because your kingdom is protecting you. Your king is working to save you or to cover you. Number five, you fight ultimately only for things that affect your heavenly citizenship and for heavenly causes on earth. Okay, this is important. Mahalaga po ito, okay? As citizens of heaven, we are foreigners on the earth. Now, while we are here, let us be responsible citizens or residents of the earth. 
Sumusunod sa batas, sumusunod sa mga leader, gusto natin maging maayos ang buhay dito. But ultimately, ang ating ipinapaglaban at ang ating ipinopursue ay yung mga related sa kingdom of heaven. So let me just say, with due respect, that according to the teaching of Jesus and the apostles, it is not super important who the political leaders are and what we must do to make sure pabor sa atin yung political leaders. Hindi po yun ganon ka-importante as far as God is concerned. So, basahin natin ang sabi ni Jesus. John 18, 36. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have been fighting that I may not be delivered over to the Jews. But my kingdom is not from the world. So tayo po, yes, we seek to change what's wrong in society. We seek to change what's you know unjust and unfair. It's the will of God that those things change. But ultimately, we are after not only righteousness and justice on the earth, but we are after salvation of souls and people maturing to become part of the pure and perfect bride of Christ, the people of God who love God above all. Yun po ang pinaka-importante. Okay? So, ngayon po, okay yun kung merong petition na baguhin ito. Pwede naman tayong sumali, bakit hindi? Merong petition na kontrahin ito. Pwede tayong sumali kung uh, yun naman ay maganda. Pero ultimately, evangelism and discipleship, righteousness, peace and joy, that's the kingdom of God. The Bible says, yun ang ating pinupush at pinupursue. Okay? People of God, wag tayong distracted besides sa ibang mga bagay. Win souls, make disciples, practice righteousness and justice. Yan po ang pinaka-focus natin. And as citizens of heaven, living as foreigners on earth, yan ang ating emphasis. Okay? Huwag ka masyadong ngayon, masyadong maraming mga, kung about mga conspiracy theory at mga, mga bagay-bagay na mga related doon at ilaban mo, dapat i-educate pa mga tao. Dapat alam natin yan, may ginagawa din tayo about that. Na, you know, we are also speaking out or we are also standing up. Tama lahat yon, ginagawa ko yon. Pero hindi yun ang primary focus natin. Ang primary fight natin are for the souls of people. Our primary fight is people come to know the Lord and they become mature to become part of the pure and perfect bride of Christ. As the kingdom of heaven advances, yun ang gustong ma-accomplish ni Lord. Number six, you see your salvation from suffering and evil as coming from the king of kings and not from the earthly rulers and their programs. So, ay, alam natin na we are citizens of a higher kingdom, a glorious heavenly kingdom. We also realize that our salvation ultimately comes from that kingdom, specifically from that, the king of that kingdom. So, alam nyo, like, kayo po, no? You may coronavirus and so on. Now, we appreciate government. We thank our uh, elected officials sa kanilang ginagawa. Grateful tayo, etc. But we believe as Christians that primarily our salvation and our help comes from the Lord. It does not come from government. The solution does not come from a vaccine or anything like that. It is from the Lord. Now, we appreciate all of these efforts. We welcome uh, the good developments or whatever they may be. But what we're saying is, tayo po ay nagtitiwala primarily kay Lord at ang ating uh, wino-worship at ang ating binibigyan ng tiwala ay si Lord. Primarily, it is God. Our salvation comes from Him. Philippians 3, 20 to 21, but our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like His glorious body. Amen. So, itong ating katawan, the Lord will transform this, okay? Kahit pa ngayon sabihin mo, magpa-vaccine ka kung yun ang choice mo, you, you may even get sick after that, and definitely at a certain point, the old age pa or whatever, because mamamatay ka, still you will die, na postpone na ng konti. But the Bible says when Jesus is the Lord of your life, God will resurrect your body, that when the time comes you will die, because all will die, but you will live again. God will transform your lowly body to be like the, low, the glorious, immortal body of Jesus. And our salvation therefore comes from the Lord. So, 
welcome natin ang mga tulong ng tao, ang programa ng gobyerno, pero ultimately, kay Lord natin ibigay ang ating tiwala pagsamba dahil nandun galing sa Kanya ang ating tunay na kaligtasan. Number seven, you endure the in-between season, the now and the time that when the kingdom of heaven takes over the whole earth, we endure with grace and faithfulness to the heavenly King. So, habang ngayon nandito pa tayo, remember, although we're citizens of heaven, we are living on the earth as foreigners, and therefore, our experiences, physical experiences, are earthly. Kaya kung merong gulo dito sa earth, apektado tayo. Kung merong mga sakit sa earth, apektado rin tayo. The general environment affects us, pero hindi ibig sabihin na talo tayo. In fact, the Bible says we endure those things because we know God is accomplishing a greater glory and we remain faithful to the Lord no matter what we go through. 2 Corinthians 4, 16 to 18, sabi doon, so we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day for this light momentary affliction or trouble is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Napaka-great. Hindi pwedeng compare. Verse 18, As we look not to the things that are seen or visible, but to the things that are unseen, for the things that are the seen or visible are transient or temporary, but the things that are unseen are eternal. So, Son of God, Daughter of God, Citizen of heaven, nandito tayo ngayon sa mundo as foreigners, aliens, exiles, and we feel what's happening. Ramdam natin ang pressure dahil sa financial crisis, sa health crisis, ramdam natin yon. But the Bible says, as citizens of heaven, we can endure with grace and faithfulness itong nangyayari. Okay? So, anak ni Lord, chill, be strong, make yourself strong in God. And don't be so, so enamored with all of the external things. They are the visible things. But be focusing on the unseen things because they are the glorious things of God's kingdom which will ultimately take over and defeat the kingdom and the events of this earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Number eight in the last, and then we will pray. You focus your mind and invest your life and resources on heavenly things. So, since tayo po ay tagalangit, then ang ating isip ay nakafocus sa mga bagay sa langit at ang ating mga resources ay inilalagay din natin ng mga bagay related sa langit. So, ito ang sabi ng word ni Lord. Colossians 3, 1 onwards. Okay? If, you have, if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with Him in glory. So sabi dito, tayo daw, isip lang natin, nakafocus sa langit. So, yung yung mga goals, yung ating mga bucket list, dapat may kasama dyan, dapat ang mas tataas dyan, yung mga eternal things. Yung mga things of this world, pwedeng kasali dyan, pero they are more on the lower numbers, number 5, 6, 7, maybe. But yung mga 1, 2, 3, dapat heavenly things yon. We focus on those things because taga langit tayo. In the same way, if you're a foreigner, a citizen of a certain country, ang iyong pinaka-dream ay related sa iyong tunay na identity and citizenship, your homeland. Our last passage, and then we'll pray, Matthew 6, 19 to 21. Sabi ni Jesus, Do not lay up for yourselves, do not store for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So yung atin daw mga treasures, I-invest daw natin dun sa langit. Kasi pag invest mo daw sa lupa, pwedeng manakaw, pwedeng mabulok, pero pag invest mo daw sa langit, hindi pwedeng nakawin, hindi pwedeng mabulok. So, Son of God, Daughter of God, Follower of Jesus, 
You are a citizen of heaven. You're only a foreigner on this earth. It's a real life. We're not di naman tayo aswang or you know anything like that. We are real people on this real world. But what we're saying is ultimately our identity, our citizenship is in heaven. And while we're here, we are preparing for heaven. You at the mga investments pang langit, okay? Hindi pang lupa. Contemporary lang tayo dito sa ating residence. Siyempre, hindi natin ibubuhos lahat. In the same way, kung ikaw, if for example, isang American, you know, and you're only living temporarily in the Philippines, siyempre, you will not put all your money here because you will leave it behind, okay, when you go back to your country. Ganun din po sa atin. All of our time, all of our effort, etc. A big part of that, ilagay natin sa things of heaven dahil yun talaga ang ating tunay na treasure at doon talaga tayo papunta. So as we close this, I want to say it is such a glorious privilege to know the Lord, to serve the Lord, to belong to the Lord. And now tayo ay nandito sa lupa. We are living for God. Let us be faithful doing that. In time, the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdoms of our God. So in my own personal life, I am so thankful. I'm seeking to enjoy life on this earth. I see many people doing the same. I'm seeking to be responsible, citizen ng lupa, ng mundo, ng Pilipinas. But I am also excited, in fact, more excited that the kingdom of heaven is coming and I am investing on it. Child of God, daughter of God, ibuhos mo ang buhay mo sa kingdom of heaven dahil yun ang totoong identity mo at nandun talaga ang mga rewards mo sa buhay. So right now, let's close our eyes and let's pray to the Lord. Our Father in heaven, we thank you that you have given us the privilege to be called the children of God. And you have given us, Lord God, this unique identity as citizens of heaven. And right now, Holy Spirit, turuan mo kami na maintindihan namin ito. We are in the in-between season that we are citizens of heaven and we are spiritual beings primarily, but we have bodies living on the earth. This is very real too, but this is going to pass away and eventually the eternal will come. So Lord, help us to be faithful. Help us to be prayerful. Help us to be giving our very best, O oh God, to the things that matter the most. Sa aming mga plans, sa aming mga goals, sa aming mga bucket lists, sa aming mga highest homes and greatest dreams, sana po ay maging kasali dito, maging mas importanting part nito, yun pong pagiging children of God, citizens of heaven, namin. And so God, work it out in our lives. We pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, yung mga implications, Lord, tulungan mo kami na magawa namin yun. Tulungan mo kami, Lord God, na malive out namin yun, Lord, by the power of Jesus. And we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for that. Salamat, Lord. Salamat, Lord God. And right now, I want to talk to those who are watching or listening and you have not yet surrendered your life to the Lord. Alam mo, the Lord loves you so much. He gave His one and only Son, Jesus. So Jesus po, eternally, the Son of God, He became a human being. He died for your sins. He rose again. And now in heaven, He rules with God. And He offers salvation to those who repent and believe. Ang Panginoong Jesus po ang tagapagligtas. At Siya po ngayon ay nasa langit. At Siya po ay nag offer ng kapatawaran at bagong buhay sa mga taong susunod sa Kanya. What you need to do is to surrender your life to the Lord. Become a citizen of heaven by submitting to the leadership of the King of heaven. Sabihin mo sa Kanya, Lord, patawarin mo ako sa aking mga kasalanan. Lord, ang sunod ko ay mga batas lang ng lupa, ng, ng kasalanan, the fleshly, worldly things. And so God, I pray, forgive me, cleanse me, Lord, and fill me with your new life and with your power. So right now, as you're watching, I invite you, if you know in your heart, hindi mo pa nabigay ang buhay mo kay Lord, ngayon ang panahon. Today, you can become a child of God. Today, 
you can become a citizen of heaven. Bigay mong buhay ba kay Lord? Just tell Him in your own words where you are. In the home, in the boarding house, watching this somewhere. You can just tell the Lord or listening to this. You can tell the Lord, God, I understand. I need you. I'm a sinner. I need you. You're the great God. You're the holy God. Kailangan kita. Patawarin mo ako, Panginoon. Forgive me of my sins, God. Fill me, Lord, with your Holy Spirit and let me live a new life. Beginning ngayon, gusto ko ikaw na ang masunod sa buhay ko. Jesus, come into my life. Take over my life. You be my King, my Lord, my ruler, and I will become your follower. You will be my shepherd and I will be your obedient sheep. So Lord, forgive us today. We surrender our lives to you. We surrender our lives to you. Gawin mo yun ngayon. Bigay mo ang buhay mo kay Lord. Babatawarin ka niya. Babaguhin niya ang buhay mo. So God, in the name of Jesus, we pray, bless, oh God, those who are seeking you. Forgive them. Give them a brand new life. Make them children of God. Make them citizens of heaven. Bless them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. And right now, I want to pray the blessing of God for you and for me. Marami po tayong pangangailangan, financial needs, uh, good health, and so on. I want to pray. Let's all pray that the Lord will bless us. So receive the blessing of God. Lord, I pray, bless your people with good health. Lord, we pray, protect mo kami sa COVID-19 disease. Lord, we pray, i-bless mo ang business namin. Father in heaven, we pray, bless mo, Lord, ang pag-aaral ng mga bata. Lord, we pray, bless our employment, our jobs. God, we pray, help us to grow in you. Na yung pandemic will be strong and victorious and fruitful in you. Bless us, God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. And right now, receive the final blessing of God commanded in the scriptures. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly. And the Lord bless you with peace. And so today I speak over you, Shalom. The complete, perfect blessing of God. The Lord blessing you in every area of life. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for joining us today. We want to see you again next Sunday. God bless you.